All right, YouTube, what's going on? So, here in a few minutes, you're about to see a bash video with the Roven FT360. So, I've been doing some durability testing. You know, everybody says because the clone, it's not as durable. Spend the money and get the upgrade. Upgrade. Well, I beg to differ, people. The Roven products are durable as hell, as you will see in the upcoming video. Check it out. This is my wheel nut. This is what I get my wheel nuts off with for the fist scale. It's a monster. But as you see in the video, guys, it is a true hardcore woogie style bash session. I did try to run the Techno Truggy as well, but it just was not. The grass is too high. We may jump it out here later. We got a little party going on for little one-year-old. And uh, they're going to be coming out probably about 2 or 3 o'clock or so. And I'll get this cleaned up. But in the video, you'll see I crashed this thing. Gaucho, man. Bad. And uh, the the links came off. They, they popped off. And both sides in that accident... Um, but nothing broke. Zero. The pipe bent in the first session. I didn't show the first session. I had another really bad crash. Nothing broke, but it crushed in the pipe again. As soon as DDM has the Bartolone side mount uh, pipe, we're going to do that because this just bends too bad. Now you'll see, and then the, the two crashes after that didn't bend i didn't hit on that side but you can see where it's melted this brace so i'm going to heat this up it's a little bent right here that's why it's touching so i'm going to heat this up again put it in my vise and we're going to straighten this out until we can get that side pipe and then uh john had showed in his video last night the aluminum roven part for here the cnc aluminum one i don't care if it's silver silver will look good uh, we're going to put it right here. So I need to get a hold of Roven and buy one of these rear. Uh, that way the pipe is not going to melt it. And um, it will be a little more rigid. Now I did do this modified uh, shock tower brace. It worked out great. The shock tower is not going to bend no matter what. And you'll see in the accidents. But... I had a lot of fun out there. I wish I could have been out there a little bit longer. Uh, we got this party thing going on. So until they get here this afternoon, it's about 11, 30, 12 o'clock right now. I'm going to work on getting this thing cleaned up. And uh, you'll see at the end of this video, this thing is going to be perfectly clean. And um, nothing broke, guys. Not the, I actually redid my tire with the new foam. And it did not come apart. I am going to be getting some new uh, knobby tires for this thing. They're still okay, but the, the rears wore down from all the testing and tuning I did. I shouldn't have done it out there on the blacktop, but we'll hold these uh, for that particular purpose. Next week, I'll order some more tires. But I want to get those, uh, uh, I think they're called silver, silver something. I forget what they're called, the beadlocks. To go on here they're better they have a lip so we're going to do brand new tires we may even get brand new rims brand new foams whole new set but we'll do those silver i forget what to call silver something um but nothing broke nothing on the body the cage none of it man As you can see my my led lights i have the wires i've never even used them nothing broke this piece did pull out so i've got to just put it back in it just pulled out right here so undo these screws and get them back in. But you'll see in the video, this thing took a whooping, man. Hey, Molly. What's up, Molly? She ain't scared of, of, of Braptastic. She is no E-word, John. Sorry, buddy. We don't have no E-words around here. I don't know. I think my Chihuahua little Penny, the one you always see, the brown one, I think she's an E-word, though. She's scared. I crack. I told y'all we, we I drink tea and I, I share animal cookies with them at night just by me cracking the animal cookie in half she runs she's scared of everything um but i'm gonna take this thing apart and uh we're gonna get it cleaned i'm probably gonna break it down a little further this time uh, i think i'm gonna pull the electronics box off and the fuel tank and uh try and get around it just take the filter off without um 
taking the carb and all that stuff off. I don't really like taking that on and off over and over. Uh, my clutch has been doing well. My steel gear has been doing fine. None of the links broke. I tell you, in the video you're going to see, guys, these things popped out. This is a weak point. You need to keep these plastic if you can. If I would have had the aluminum uh, rod ends, it would, they would have been toast. I would have had to buy new ones. So, everything looks good. Nothing is broken. None of the plastics broke. And it was, uh, we battled this thing. So, the, uh, thank God that I had my, my Scorpion front skid plate on there. You'll see in the video how it took a tumble end over end. And perfectly straight. No issues. All right, guys. I think that's going to be about it for now. We'll work on getting this stuff cleaned up. What are you doing in my bar, man? Hey, guys. I'm huh? I might air up the... Uh, With the pole. vacuum cleaner? Yeah. You use the reverse side and close up. You know I have an actual pump for that thing. Does it work? I did this last time. It smells, though, and it's going to blow stuff out the ass. It's all right. Let him do what he wants to do. You got to learn, learn and live. You want the other thing or you want to use that? Okay. All right. He said he's good. Where are you going to plug it in at? On the yeah, on the back side of the house. All right, guys. So I got my riding lawnmower running too, man. Got everything fixed on it. No more pushing the mower, people. You got to watch Nikki. She's a firecracker and she's pregnant. <laughs> Only in Texas, people. All right. Uh, oh, one other thing I wanted to touch on, guys. I had a comment on one of my videos, and it said, why don't you use this SMZ, uh, try to boost your channel and all that. I checked it out, and you buy subs, man. Why in the hell would I want to buy subs? I have never, ever once asked for a subscription from you guys. Put good content on your channel, and the people will come. You don't have to buy subs. You don't have to buy likes, comments, none of that stuff. That's fake and it's BS, man. And if anybody out there that I deal with does it, you're wrong. Do your channel. Don't ask for subscriptions. I don't know why people do that. To me, it's like begging. You'll never see me begging for a subscription, period. I'm almost to 1,000 subs, and I've done it the right way with true 100% content. So, shout out to Mr. Bodegel. He's the one that taught us and couple other guys and this one thing I will say about uh, the termite is he has never asked or begged either of course he doesn't have hardly any subs but we all know why because he doesn't know how to treat people properly um, and his running videos are boring put something in the air termite anyway guys um, we'll probably I don't know we may do another video I'm not sure uh, have a really full week coming up as well um, still on track to buy two more fifth scales and possibly another uh, platform, uh, Truggy platform, Nitro, and a few more engines. I uh, was working on putting a new clutch on this. I want to get a new bell. Um, going through the uh, Pico, breaking it down. Um, looks good, no corrosion, no nothing. This is the modified Pico Boost. She looks good. Looks good, people. So, but the other day when we were doing the speed runs, at the end of the speed run, it shut down on me. And this is why. Two of the screws, the engine mount screws came loose. And thank God it didn't mess up the lightened spur gear but it toasted this bell look at that 14 bell gun hold on to it for momentos so uh, this is a 16 bell I thought about putting it on I've already done my 14 uh, speed run on a modified now I may do a speed run with this now now we can switch and go to whatever gearing you want but it has to be a nitro truggy or a buggy and uh, in this speed run series we're gonna do stock 
So I'm going to be doing the stock limited edition P5 blue head and a 16 bell. And uh, I think the spur is a lightened 48 tooth if I'm not mistaken. So we'll, we'll try that out on stock. So I haven't seen anybody. I know the termite said that he wanted to do a, a running uh, just to see what his uh, modified engine would do. But I'm not going to... Uh, push this one too much more it, it does have a lot of uh, modifying on the sleeve and in the crank and everywhere else even the even the rod is is lightened I don't know if you can see it but the rod is lightened right here on the edges that's a little scary too man because you're taking uh, surface mass off the rod that probably could break pretty easily so we're gonna take it easy on the Pico for now and uh, was thinking about even buying I saw a brand new piston and sleeve obviously stock and then pulling that modified uh, sleeve out and uh, rod and piston and just putting a stock one down in there still using the modified crank but uh, that way I can bash on it harder and I don't risk damaging the, uh, the modified sleeve piston and, and con rod. So thinking about that, may pick that up this week. Seen a couple out there. Uh, we're also going to redo, so getting ready to run this, I'm going to uh, do a brand new four shoe Max Life uh, clutch. Uh, 29 bucks for these aluminum Max Lifes, man. High dollar, but they're the best in my book and this time we're going to use the lightened uh, aluminum 8x uh, flywheel the difference between the 8x flywheel Losi and the regular TLR one are the pins the pins have been upgraded and you cannot use these 8x pins on the regular lightened Losi wrap that up son wrap it up son and then gold springs yeah, if you would have wrapped it up, your, your girl wouldn't be pregnant. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's going to be about it. Uh, let me get this thing cleaned up. And you guys enjoy enjoy the bash video with the FT. Maybe we'll get the, uh, maybe we'll get the NT48.3 in the air today. Well, we got our swimming pool set up, guys. We're going to be doing some swimming today. And then Mama's getting her pit ready. My wife is a badass barbecuer, people. All right, guys. I'll probably touch in with you guys later. Might do another video. But other than that, I know there's probably something that I'm forgetting. Um, remember, treat people the way you want to be treated. And let's put something in the air, people. Later.
Alright guys, I already been ripping this thing, so I haven't touched the needles from the last rip. So she should be good. I know uh, a couple of people, including Mr. Bodigel, said I might, might be a little lean on top. We'll check it out. I did a little run before I got on camera and I crashed. That rear uh, chassis, the rear shock tower mount that I fabricated from the front uh, bumper worked real well. But the pipe still bent. I had to bend the pipe back. Hey, no glut, no glut, no guts, no guts, no glory. No guts, no glory, people. There's an old saying in the moving business. Don't be afraid of the codfish. My brother, Family Affair, knows all about that codfish. Getting ready to go deep sea fishing. I wish I could go with you, brother. I just can't, man. I'm grinding on this new career, but next summer, hell, I may have my own boat. Back in the 90s, I owned a... I owned a boat. We had a 26 foot bay liner. I grew up down at the coast, basically, people. Every year, every year when school was out, since I was a tiny boy, before I went to school, my mom, God rest her soul, and all my aunts, they would pack us up. Two and a half months worth of gear, and we go down to Port Aransas, Texas for the entire summer, every year. And it was none of the dads, none of the men, yeah, a couple of uncles every now and then, but mostly it was my mom and my aunt and uh, all my nephews, nieces, cousins, all that. Man. We used to rent four or five cabins all summer long. All we did was fish, man. I have one Aunt Joanne. She's one of the only ones left alive. Her name is Aunt Fish. I love Aunt Fish, man. She taught me everything. All my aunts did, man. They were, they were avid fishermen. In fact, I've got a lot of my mom's fishing equipment right now. I just never get to go anymore. Alright, enough talk. Let's rip. So maybe a little lean on top.
Wide open, baby. Oh. <laughs> Got an issue. <laughs> hey, didn't bend the pipe though. <laughs> Check out the. about the plastic they're gonna pop out they're not gonna break the aluminum John talked me out of the aluminum because of that right there they break off they don't they don't break That's how you finish it off. <laughs> oh man, I hope it didn't bend the pipe. No, didn't bend the pipe. We're good, man. So, some more durability testing, people. Pulled this out, no big deal. Get back in there. I'll fix that later. Roving, baby. Durable as hell. Nothing broke. Got me a little gun shy now, though. DDM Scorpion Skid Plate comes into play, people. Scorpion Skid Plate. I'm going to beat beat up this roving man durability testing and I bought this they should send me a free one though for doing durability testing definitely ripping man man
tell me that this Roven is not quality. Anybody that can go through, any whip that can go through testing like this and not literally break. It's good stuff, people. Shout out to Rovin. Might be getting low on fuel. So I may start walking it back. I don't want to carry this beast. Ah. <laughs> I don't want to carry this beast. says Rovin is not quality is out of their mind. I ain't carrying it, people. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Roving RC, quality shit. Excuse my French. I'm glad I didn't do the aluminum uh, rod ends and stuff, because that would have been toast, man. Some things you upgrade plastic, some things you upgrade with aluminum, some things you leave plastic, man. Anything that's a stress point, leave it plastic. She's running low on fuel. see it guys put a little fuel and we can do a little more kill switch baby all right guys let me fill her up man We'll do a little bit more. I'll be back in a minute.